I've been using this 5.5 inch OLED touchscreen with Raspberry Pi for quite a long time. But at times it seems quite impractical to use such an expensive display when working on small projects. You can use this small SSD 1306 I2C supported OLED display module for displaying the sensor's values. I have used this OLED display module with Arduino boards, ESP32 and Note MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. So this is going to be a getting started tutorial and I'm going to explain each and every step as this is my first time I'm using this small OLED display module with Raspberry Pi. We will display some shapes using the program which comes with the library and then we will also write our own program to display the Hello Electronic Clinic text on the OLED display module. The reason I started with just a simple text is to make things simpler and easy to follow. Moreover, if you can display the text, then you can also display the sensor values on the OLED display module. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this video can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. Unlike the Arduino boards, the Raspberry Pi also supports I2C communication. In Raspberry Pi, the I2C pins are 3 and 5. Pin number 3 is the SDA and pin number 5 is the SCL. Pin number 1 is the 3.3 volt and pin number 6 is the ground. So we will use 3.3 volts to power up the OLED display module. This is the circuit diagram which clearly shows how the SSD 1306 I2C supported OLED display module is connected with the Raspberry Pi. Pin number 1 which is the 3.3 volt pin is connected with the OLED display module VCC pin. Pin number 3 is the SDA pin of the Raspberry Pi and is connected with the SDA pin of the OLED display module. Pin number 5 is the SCL pin of the Raspberry Pi and it is connected with the SCL pin of the OLED display module. Finally, the ground pin of the Raspberry Pi, which is pin number 6, is connected with the ground pin of the SSD 1306 I2C supported OLED display module. So that's all about the circuit diagram. As you can see, I have already connected the OLED display module with the Raspberry Pi as per the circuit diagram which I just explained. Now we will do some settings on the Raspberry Pi. I started off by powering up my Raspberry Pi. I'm using the VNC virtual network computing for the wireless connectivity with my Raspberry Pi. But you can also use the SSH network. First you will need to check if the I2C bus is activated on your Raspberry Pi. Simply click on Raspberry Pi icon then preferences and then select the Raspberry Pi configuration. Now click on the interfaces and check if the I2C is enabled. As you can see mine is already enabled so go ahead and enable this on your Raspberry Pi as well. There is also another method to activate your I2C communication on Raspberry Pi. This method is normally used when you are using the SSH network because while using the SSH network you can't see the Raspberry Pi desktop and graphics. In a case like this we use the command terminal. While the command terminal is opened write the command sudo rasp-config and then press enter. This will open the Raspberry Pi software configuration tool. Scroll down and select interface options. Over here you can see it's already enabled. On your side if it's not enabled then go ahead and enable it and then you are all set. Now we will run these different commands to update the Raspberry Pi and install the required libraries. There is not much to talk about so sit back and watch each step carefully.
use the ls command to display all the files and folders. As you can see there is a folder named examples. Now navigate to this folder by using the command cd examples and press enter. Again use the ls command to display all the files and folders. As you can see we have some example files with extension .py. Let's open the shapes.py file. To run this file simply type python shapes.py and then press enter. This will draw some shapes and the hello world text on the OLED display module. Great our OLED display module is working with Raspberry Pi. We did everything correctly. Now we can write our own code to display different text on the OLED display module. I use the MU editor for writing the program. It doesn't matter which editor you use. This is a simple code which displays the Hello Electronic Clinic text on the OLED display module. You can download this code from my website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. So let's go ahead and check this code. First save the code and then click on the play button to run this code. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.